Developing now at 6, new details in a horrific car crash in Midland. The impact split the driver's Mustang in half and left the passenger dead. Good evening, I'm Carson Bush Jost. And I'm Madeline Bierster. We're joined now by ABC Big 2's Rob Tuke, who's live tonight near Wall Street and Andrews Highway. Rob, that's where the crash happened. Well, that's right, guys. According to this affidavit, the driver lost control right behind me in that intersection. Midland police said the Mustang was moving fast when it slammed into that light pole on the corner. Now the driver's facing a manslaughter charge. The debris from the wreckage has been cleaned up. The only sign anything ever happened here on the corner of Wall Street and Andrews Highway in Midland is a bent fence, blocking off a construction site. But on Sunday, early in the morning, just before 3, the corner of this intersection was marked by a horrifying scene. The body of this 2017 blue Mustang was ripped in half in two completely separate pieces. The motor and transmission were found feet away from the car. Here, the posted speed limit is 30 miles per hour. According to this affidavit we obtained from the County of Midland, the Mustang was going southbound on an Andrews Highway, well over the speed limit. These viewer photos only tell half the story. The court document says, This man, 31-year-old Robert Blake Prince, was driving that blue Mustang. On-scene first responders described the car as having extremely heavy damage, with a large amount of blood inside and on the driver's door. Behind the sports car, officers found a man on the ground who turned out to be the passenger. He tragically died as a result. The affidavit says officers spoke to witnesses who said there was a man walking around immediately after the crash on the driver's side of the car. These witnesses talked to him before he took off and the man said he had to leave the scene because he could not get another DWI. The affidavit goes on the man took off with the passenger left behind next to the car. Officers found Prince's ID and phone on scene by the car but not Prince himself. A K-9 unit tracked him down just west of the crash. Officers found him with serious injuries, took Prince into custody, then police say Prince identified his passenger, but the identity of the passenger hasn't been released. Now the affidavit also says that the officers checked the suspect's driving record which showed multiple prior convictions for DWI. Prince is being held at the Midland County Jail on a $500,000 bond for the manslaughter charge and a $100,000 bond for the charge accident involving death. For now, I'm Rob Tuke reporting live in Midland for ABC Big Two News.